Hello everyone, do you want to add these uh, options called pull questions during your live sessions in Zoom? So for today, I'm going to show you how exactly it's going to work on how we can add this particular feature. Okay, in the browser, go to the setting and there the meeting. Here you can have the options uh, where you can have the meeting in the basic only scroll down and you can see there's an options about pooling. So in here you can just simply uh, make sure it is active so that that particular uh, features will be available there. So just make sure it's blue in that way. Or another method as we know, we can just control F to find it easier and type the word pool and then it will bring you that particular area. So that's how it is. Second step now is to make a schedule a meeting. Make sure it's still in the browser to make this one here. So click this option, schedule a meeting. And then the, put whatever name you want the meeting will be. Um, it's, for now, we just have to say try to make uh, pull questions for this particular tutorial. And then you can just put whatever timing you want to use that particular meeting. And then at the bottom part, you just have to save it. So after you click save, um, you have to go down. All right. So when you grow down here, there's an option right now that you have to you can create a pull question. So I haven't added anything yet on that particular meeting. So now I can add. So here I can put any random questions I have. Probably this is the title for the for the questions that I can make. <clears throat> Try to make pull question questions, and then in here I can just put whatever questions I want to to create here. All right, is the instruction clear to you? So you can put it here and then you can actually add options, whatever add possible answers the students can have on their screen. And you can just click save. And then you can add more questions if you'd like to as well because there's other options on the right side here. You can add another question. So, all right, now here's the thing. Now we will start now the schedule we made. If you click restart right now, here at the bottom part, you can see right now that there is what we so called pools. So here you, when you click that one, here's the question we just created for this particular meeting itself. So here you can launch that one anytime you'd like. Now I'm showing you the mobile version for that on the right side where I try to join myself on this particular meeting just to show you how it will look like. So on the computer on the left side, uh, you can see now I started the launch and on the right side you can see that it pop up to the screen of the uh, mobile phone of the student if you would say so once he answered it will show on the right side the result of the student's progress so how many answered and what are the answers they gave so in here it's good and also you can click the show the results so that on their screen they can see also how many answer that particular questions on what particular options they have chosen so this is how easy it is uh, you can relaunch that one if you'd like to as well and you can stop sharing as well so it's very easy and convenient for you and this is one way to make it more interactive in our lesson or discussions during lab session so i hope you have learned something today and again i'm happy to share with you the information that i have this is very simple and very short and uh, i hope to see you more in the next videos that i have ciao bye bye